Hi, this is Robin Bramer, the author of the Kingdom Living series, the Kingdom Living Bible Study Course, and brand new, uh, still being published, is the Pocket Study Guides, or Pocket Guides. I don't know what they're called. Anyway, today I want to share with you about the church that you go to. Are you going to the church that you should go to? Here are some things that you need to consider. And <clears throat> from the very beginning when I became born again and filled with the Holy Spirit, God showed me that I would rock the boat in whatever churches I went to or wherever I went because I would not accept the norm that I was hungry to get into His presence and to know more. So I've always rocked the boats. I've always been in churches where it was a battle for me to be there. Either because the pastor didn't like me or, or because what I believed he was threatened or uh, basically I kind of outgrew the pastor in a sense because I was hungry and desperate but I just want to share with you are you in the right church how do you know you're in the right church there's a couple different points I want to cover and I don't I just might go in rabbit trails while I do this but the first thing that I want to point out is <clears throat> if you've gone to if your church does not have signs wonders and miracles get out of it because it's a dead church it's a religious church it's not a church that's moving in the new covenant and the new covenant is about the Holy Spirit and the supernatural things of God now second of all if you are in a church that does not move in the supernatural things of God that does not allow the Holy Spirit to move which unfortunately is a hard place to be and I've been there I might even be there right now but um if you are there it better be because that's where God wants you to be now I've been in a church that doesn't believe in allowing the Holy Spirit to move because they're afraid of offending people but a church that doesn't allow the Holy Spirit to move is really a church that doesn't walk in power and doesn't walk in the new covenant it's just a look good church um, the church today needs to walk in the supernatural let the Holy Spirit be the the leader and the guide and it will be out of order it will look crazy strange things will happen the pastor won't be in control because the Holy Spirit will but if you do go to a kind of church that does not allow the Holy Spirit to move it better be because better be because the Holy Spirit told you to be there and there's a reason for you to be there let me explain almost I've been a Christian about 35 years and almost almost the whole time I've been in churches I didn't want to be in I didn't like them I didn't want to be there but God had me there for a reason because in each church I was stretched I was stretched to grow and mature in a certain area and when I grew up enough in that area I was promoted to another church I didn't like where I had to stretch and grow and mature in and in another church I didn't want to be in or didn't like but every church I was in and for every length of time I was in that church it was because God wanted me in that church and he would not allow me to go anywhere else as desperate as I wanted to go somewhere else because I was growing I was learning and I was stretching oftentimes when I was in those churches I didn't believe what they taught because I'd go home and study it for myself and be walking in it for example a church I went to in Hermosa Beach California the pastor there did not believe in healing and I just began to walk in and step into receiving knowledge on healing that healing was part of our covenant healing was part of confirming that God was alive healing was part of confirming and knowing that God loved you and that healing was already a done deal we just had to receive it and so this pastor didn't believe in it and I started to learn about it and walk in it and teach it and share it and he got angry with me and confronted me on it and that just made me dug deeper to prove that what I believed was true was true because I began to walk in it and that is how my whole Christian walk has been from one church to another church I have been put in churches I didn't want to be uh, sometimes with pastors I did not respect under leadership I did not I respected them I respected the anointing but as a person I didn't think they were good pastors they were not good leaders they were not their personality and my personality clashed and I had to stay under some of those leaders sometimes for two years up to two years or more and submit to their leadership and honor that and that was a hard place to be 
and some of my pastures I outgrew because like for example the healing one um, so what I'm saying the number one thing I'm saying in this little section of this teaching is if you're in a church that doesn't believe in signs wonders and miracles and you do and you know it's true you need to get out of that church and ask God where he wants you to go the only reason you should be in that church is because God says stay there and he's teaching you something and you're going to grow okay so here's the other number two if you've been in the same church all your life um let's see how can i say this nicely if you're always eating off of an apple tree and you've got really awesome apples but you never tasted an orange because all that apple tree can give you is apples then you got a problem and what I'm saying is it's really really good to be in the same church all your life but if that's if you're not feeling as though God's telling you to stay there you need to change churches because your pastor what your pastor teaches if you don't go home and feed yourself you're only going to learn what he teaches so if your pastor um, believes in the um, salvation and he just teaches salvation and everything he teaches comes from the point of salvation he doesn't teach on baptism of the Holy Spirit he doesn't teach on healing he might not teach on leadership or whatever he teaches on the, his his calling and anointing is in one area then your calling and anointing is going to be in that area it's not going to grow or expand you might have learned everything you're supposed to learn from that pastor from that church from that ministry you need to ask God if you should be moving on to another church to learn another phase of your life to expand um, you might need to hear the grace message or the kingdom message or the anti message you need to ask God should I be in this church if you've been in the same church all your life you need to ask should I be in this church God is this where you want me maybe he wants you there because um, you're ministering to other people maybe he wants you to get out and get somewhere else so that you can minister through teaching and the door to teaching is, in, is not available at that church I don't know that's between you and God and you really need to ask you do not be in one church all your life because it's convenient because you grew up there because you know nowhere else to go you'll die in that in that church you need to go to the church God wants you to go to whether you like it or not okay so if you've been in the same church all your life you need to sincerely seek God and pray about if that's where you're supposed to stay because if you're not growing if you're not stretching if you're not maturing if you're not in ministry then I have doubts that you're supposed to be there because you're getting comfortable and you're getting lazy and you're not learning okay okay now the next thing is whatever church you're in make sure you're supposed to be there if you are sometimes you're in a church where you disagree with the pastor for example maybe you go to a Baptist church but you started learning God started teaching you through other sources about the baptism of the Holy Spirit and speaking in other tongues and every time you go to church that pastor slams speaking in other tongues slams speaking in other tongues says it's of the devil say it's not for today but you then it takes you back and forth and you ping pong back and forth you go to church and you hear it's not for today but you, you go home and God's talking to you through some other sources and saying you know speaking in tongues is for you it's for today and you begin to go to church with a dread or a hate um, with conflicting feelings with offenses then you need to get out of that church and you need to go someplace that preaches what it is that you need to hear for this time of your life okay don't be stuck in one church because of whatever reason if you're learning something different find out what the truth is and go to a place where you can hear the truth it's so so important to be in the church that God wants you to be in because he'll, he'll be teaching you and ministering to you and I have so often almost all my life been in churches I didn't want to be in for one reason or another um, but I have been stretched sometimes I have to go to two churches to get what I need I get, need to go to this church to be filled with the Holy Spirit to be free in the Holy Spirit I have to go to this church to hear about the grace message and how good God is and to walk in victory and power it's like I just wish God would take the churches and put them together and you could have one perfect church never has happened to me so far um, I hear go to this church and hear a good word man this is a word of faith church I hear but they don't let the Holy Spirit move 
and they don't uh, function in the supernatural so it's like ah, just have my own church but I don't want to be a pastor it's too much work I just like being a pastor over at the internet I don't want to be one for real hopefully God's not calling me to be a pastor it's too much work I rather stand in my office of a prophet and uh, the anointing of evangelists I like that a whole lot better so anyway so ask God about the church you go to ask him if you're supposed to be in that church ask him what you need to be learning don't stay in a church where you're getting offended where your pastor is preaching against something that you believe in I've been there for a couple of years in a church like that and it's so so hard you it opens up the door for the demonic attack uh, because you're doing battle not just with your conscious saying you know oh every time the preacher says this you just cringe inside and you just want to punch him and you get so mad and say no don't say that that's wrong you're hurting people um, then you go to church and you can't even look the pastor in the eye because you know what he's teaching is wrong you know he has the right heart but he's coming from wrong direction and you can't say anything about it but you have to respect him be under that covering it's so frustrating so make sure you're in the church that you're supposed to be make sure you're doing and learning what you're supposed to learn because what church you go to is a matter of life and death and sometimes you might have to go to two different churches but you know what you can't go to two different churches if you're an immature Christian because you're gonna get offended you're gonna talk about people you're gonna put people down and you're gonna get yourself in trouble you need to shut your mouth and you need to go where God sends you and you don't need to tell anyone else your business it's between you and God um, so pray about it be in the right place at the right time please 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 do not go to church and just get fed there you have to come home seven days a week 24 hours a day get into the word yourself study the word yourself spend time praying in tongues let God interpret what you're saying spend time confessing the word of what God says about you so that it opens the door for the Holy Spirit to teach you and learn at home because someday the churches will not be there. You're going to have to feed yourself and stop getting spoon-fed at church. So my name is Robin Bremer. .net is my website. Be blessed. And I hope that you go, I pray in Jesus' name, that you go to the right church for the right reason. And that you hear from God and are led by the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. I'll talk to you tomorrow.